Okay, speaking with East Lawrence Athletic Director and Head Football Coach Rocky Lewis today. And Coach, understand that uh, plans are underway to construct a new uh, outside facility to house the uh, weight room and uh, maybe some other things as well. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, when I came on board during the summertime, uh, myself and Brad Smith, uh, we're pretty much hired about the same time and and we both were brainstorming and said it sure would be nice to have a, a facility that the athletes and the community to be proud of and take pride in and have a desire and want to come out and work in. And we just started toying around with it and started talking to other schools who had similar facilities and, and we were able to uh, get some ideas down and present them to other people in the community to see if they thought it would be feasible. And we were able to go before the Board of Education, I believe it was the 1st of December into November, and got permission from them to move forward with the raising of funds for it. And so we're very excited about it. It would, uh, it would compose a, uh, two indoor batting cages a full-size weight room, two locker rooms for boys and girls, and then public facilities, uh, restroom facilities for our baseball uh, people and, and also tennis. Uh, and really, uh, people may describe, uh, think of this as something that's wanted by East Columbus, but it's really a need just to get you on somewhat equal footing with the facilities that the other teams in the county, the other teams in your conference have access to, isn't it? Yeah, we, we sit here in the weight room and and, uh, and although we have everything that's needed, uh, there's just a, a real lack of space. And being able to get a full class in here or in the summertime getting your, uh, your football team in here, it, it's just not, uh, it's not very efficient. And one of the biggest concerns is, is safety. I always worry when I have one group working on uh, a certain lift and having the other working on another lift, I always worry is somebody not gonna pay attention and are they gonna get hurt? And so from a safety and a liability standpoint, it's a huge concern. And so it's intended for every sport and not just football or baseball or softball, but it is, uh, it is intended to supplement what we do have here and, uh, and make our workouts more efficient. But as far as the funding goes, we are, um, we're, we're approaching it in many different avenues, many different ways. Number one, we're soliciting those people who have the ability to uh, be able to write a check. Uh, we're gonna have a nice check presentation here, uh, two of them here in the next few days that, that we're proud of that will help get the ball rolling. Um, we've applied for several grants. Uh, we are asking the Board of Education to help out in any way possible that they can. And so we're not just sitting back and, and hoping. We're, we're trying to be proactive and go out and, and seek those sources of money. Leaving no stone unturned. That's right. Uh, the weather that we're currently experiencing here at the start of spring practice, it, it gives uh, uh, folks an idea of why multi-purpose facility is needed down here at East. It's not called the swamp simply because of where it's located that when it's wet it is swampy and it does take a while to uh, dry out so if anyone in the uh, county needs somewhere where they can get indoors I think uh, East Columbus would be number one on that list. We, yeah. We've kind of set the date of let's break ground next spring 2016 right but if things start happening financially, there's no reason why we could go ahead and break ground this summer. So we're, we're very excited about it. We're looking forward to, uh, to getting it rolling and, uh, and it will make a huge difference. Anyone interested in contributing uh, needs to do what? Contact the school. Contact myself or uh, our administration or uh, Brad Smith, our baseball coach, and we have a separate fund set up. There's a uh, tax ID number that goes with it, so it can be a tax write-off for a business um, or an individual uh, who's looking for some uh, charitable organization to be able to donate to it.
So, uh, so that serves a couple purposes there okay. also. Yeah. Oh, and East Point's head baseball coach, uh, Brad Smith. Coach Smith, uh, not the most uh, conducive weather for uh, baseball here at the official start of spring practice, but uh, been talking with uh, Coach Lewis about the possibility of maybe getting an, an indoor facility that will also serve the baseball team as well. What are your thoughts about that? It's, it's long overdue. <laughs> it's, it's my main thoughts. Uh, it's it's going to be a big morale booster to our community, and it is much needed for the school as far as our athletic programs across the board. Baseball is somewhat limited as to what you can do with weather like this, and you have to go into the gym. Kind of hard to take batting practice. Uh, uh, you know, you can get some throwing in, take some ground balls, but swings early in the season are really what's lacking. Yeah, we're we're really limited on what we can do. You know, it's it's. I won't be able to get on the field the next two days if I don't want to ruin every baseball I got. So, did today and tomorrow, I mean, I'll be pretty much washed out as far as being off the field and the only, only thing we have left is a cage. We'll, we'll do what we can in there and get get some work and get some swings in in there and uh, and throw some pitchers on the inside off, off of our uh, built mounds we have. I think one of the great things is that you and Coach Lewis football and baseball coming together to you know to work together for a facility that didn't just benefit one sport it should benefit what with the weightlifting aspect it benefits sports sports across the board and, and that was our goal it, it was one of the first things that honestly when when i met coach lewis you know we we pretty much came together and said we've got it's a necessity and, and it is it really is a necessity because you know it, there's several, several schools within a 45 mile radius that will compete against that already have these buildings and everything else. Right. And, and it's, it's a necessity. If you don't have one, you will fall behind. All right. Well, we appreciate you taking the time and uh, hope you find a dry place where you can practice some baseball before the season gets started. <laughs> it's probably going to be in the gym. <laughs> there you go. Coach Brad Smith of East Columbus High School. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba.